Yes, that no is one, correct. No one's asking you to take it off. That's very yeah. polite. Yeah. Shiva. I think Shiva's being a bit suggestive with you, but not with me. So <laughs> yes. do with that what you will. We All right. see Jin Q on Monkey. So they were alluding to this uh, Monkey King shenanigans. I actually cast this game that he went absolutely ham. He must have... I don't know what the actual number is to you because it was around 20 couriers probably for the game. Uh, probably 22. Yeah, 22 is probably the right number. But it, it started off where he was just uh, leaving lane, so the off lane just gets solo XP and actually ended up getting first blood. I remember this vividly. He's going to put a ward down to try to get these courtiers really early on. He did not participate legitimately for the first like 20 minutes or so, other than killing couriers, which typically we've kind of seen this strat like in a way with like Ricky, and it never really works out, but this one really did. I've never seen anything quite like it, so you can see Spirit are ready for this. <laughs> Uh, all right, that will give you a third of a level on your techies. <laughs> and he's going to TP bot. Yeah, yeah. Without this ward, it's going to be a lot harder for Jin Q to do his shit out against. And yeah, he's actually he's actually just going to leave and go top. So that's good for him. Um, or rather, that's good for Spirit. I was going to say quickly, as a as a lead into this game, the Chinese region in general for I want to say two or three years by now, uh, they have prided themselves on really good team fighting ability and really good team fight lineups and their Achilles heel against a lot of the Western teams in particular gaming gladiators has been just getting run over in lanes and having no chance after which uh, looks like collapse will be trying to do just that yep. um, extreme gaming's lineup is insanely good in the mid late game as long as they get through the lanes so the question for me here is can spirit build themselves a meaningful advantage the troll against slaughter matchups very good and as we just saw down there, this Centaur plus Techies lane is actually stupidly strong against Phoenix. You can just... You can almost burst Phoenix before he even gets Icarus dive off if he has used fire... If he uses fire spears like once or twice, he's in like two-thirds health. You, you're not safe to play aggressively in this lane. Um, so I think that's going to be the entry for Spirit into this game is to win the two side lanes and take it from there. <laughs> and obviously they need to also play a different game here. <laughs> this is not Dota. Uh, this is... So this... Uh, I forget who Team Spirit was were playing. Or sorry, uh, who Extreme were playing when they were doing this uh, in the game that I cast. But no one was really following him around. So mm -hmm. this is definitely a change of pace. You can t tell Team Spirit... No. <laughs> They're still going to lose Come a curry. How? And that's the bottle too. Literally, how is that possible? All right. I'm... So here's the thing, when you're playing mid, you're obviously focused on every CS, but there has to be some sort of communication oh. going on there. This this can't be allowed to happen. That's the most important courier. Yeah. That's the one, you know? And he got that one already. Um, worth keeping in mind here, obviously, part of the reason, or part of, yeah, I would say part of the reason in a lot of, or how many games has he done this? Like three at this point? I think he... I've only seen one myself. I think he definitely did it more than once, or maybe I'm just thinking about pub games because he has been testing it out. Um, I don't think... <laughs> I think the way of solving this, if you do want to chase him, is exactly by having a carry versus offlane matchup that's favorable. You can't do what Mipushka is doing if your carry is struggling, but the troll against slaughter matchup plays itself. So yeah. uh, this is a luxury that they have and that they definitely planned for when they put their leg. Oh, hi! Hi there, I'm in your base! And Mipushka ready for it, but it means he's not getting any XP along with Jin Q, so they're essentially just trading, just being AFK. Hopefully they don't get kicked for being AFK like you would in pubs. Yeah. I think Jinky I would rather the have base. a level... I don't know, actually. Who's better at level 5, minute 15? Between these two heroes? Yeah. I oh. think it's kind of close, actually. The Monkey King stun is quite good. Uh, the ET without Earth Split are kind of... Eh, I guess. Excellent. Yeah. But... Well, despite not having that bottle, mid lane is actually pretty even, surprisingly. OD yeah. typically a hero that will dominate, but... I can see Laurel doing just fine as... Yep, Jin Q continuing to be able to run in front of. Oh, oh there's no way he finds that one. Oh my God, there's no way. There's oh, no he, way. He oh, him, oh, him. oh, 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 no. No. oh! 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 <laughs> All right, Maposhka is now the courier. That's a little bit harder to kill. It takes more than one hit. This is actually so weird to watch. I mean, imagine you play this game for like ten hours a day for like <laughs> four years. You just practice your heart out. This is a mini game. And then. People just say, today, you're going to be playing Call of Duty instead. I mean, you're basically playing single player. Yeah, I, I mean, I wasn't going to say this is like Call Maybe of Duty because they literally have zero similarities, but... Yeah, great, great suggestion. Great uh, it was just, you know, it's a totally different game. This it isn't... Is. It's like, 
there's none of what you practice that's being put to use here except map awareness. You know, like yeah. Miposhka isn't doing any laning. He isn't doing any <laughs> mechanics. Uh, the question is, who's who's around. is anyone benefiting from this? And that's what I'm always like thinking about. You have about solo Slardar and solo, solo Troll. Both are going to be really happy. Troll, yeah. top CS in the game. Slardar struggling a bit. So it looks like Yotoro is the one that's really benefiting from this right now. I guess one way of looking at it oh. is also if the... Oh, the okay. kill. Well, got one more. If okay. the lane was played normally, I wonder who would win it, right? Because if, you, if you're destined to lose this lane as Slardar Monkey King anyway, <laughs> then this is even better than playing the lane. <laughs> oh my, no way! He just pinged it! He literally just pinged it! 